I'm Amy Seitz, editor of Gardening How-To Magazine and executive director of the National Home Gardening Club. Container gardening is a hot trend right now, and it's easy to see why. Containers add life to your patio, your deck, your porch, or even just a spot in your garden that needs a little bit of extra color. But by the middle of the summer, your containers might be looking a little scraggly. And if that's happened to you, don't worry about it. It's a very common problem. But there are some things you can do to make sure it doesn't happen again next year. Many annuals in containers need to be deadheaded. The main thing a plant wants to do is reproduce. That's a plant's main goal in life. So if you leave the seed heads where they are, the plant is going to slow down its blooming and focus on ripening those seeds. But if you cut the seed head off, then the plant is forced to produce new blooms. There are some exceptions to this. Um, a lot of the newer petunias and calabrachoas, or million bells, are self-cleaning, and that means that they don't need to be deadheaded. Make sure you water. Containers are beautiful, but they are not low maintenance, no matter what anyone might tell you. Water when the soil is dry to the touch. Depending on the weather, that could easily mean once a day. Annuals are heavy feeders. You can grow them without fertilizer, but they're going to look so much better. Bigger, bushier, with more blooms, if you remember that they need to be fed as well as watered. When I plant annuals in a container, I usually mix in some slow-release fertilizer with the potting mix. And actually, some mixes come with the slow-release fertilizer already mixed in. What this does is it gives plants a steady dose of fertilizer while they're getting established in the spring. But after a few months, they're going to use up those nutrients, and they're going to need some extra help from you. Water about once every other week with a quick-release fertilizer. When I first started gardening in containers, I didn't do a whole lot of maintenance, and by the time August rolled around, my containers were looking dry and brown. But once I got into the regular discipline of watering and deadheading regularly and making sure I added fertilizer about once every other week, it was amazing how much longer my containers looked fabulous. I spent an extra five minutes or so a week for a whole extra month of bloom.